what's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be tackling the issue of high CPU usage from Discord on your Windows computer. Of course, if you're not using Windows, the methods that I show in this video won't completely cover your situation, but some of the tips may end up helping you anyway. So this video is not just targeted at normal high CPU usage just from running the program, but it also covers abnormally high CPU usage that you could be experiencing currently. Discord is only using 0.1% of my CPU, somewhere around there, and I do have a Ryzen 3900X, so it's very unlikely it'll get anywhere high. But if you have a dual or quad core CPU, Discord could be eating quite a lot especially if it's currently going through some sort of a glitch or issue. Don't worry, we'll be covering all of those in this video now. So first of all, before we get to uninstalling and reinstalling or anything drastic like that, there's a couple of fixes that we could try. Do you have a GPU in your PC? If so, great. Have you tried enabling GPU acceleration inside of Discord to take some of the work off your CPU and place it on your GPU? Well, it's something that you could try. If you don't know how to do that, or you're not too sure if you have, open up Discord and click the user settings icon in the bottom left next to your username. Then inside of here, navigate across to the appearance section under app settings and inside of this window, scroll down to the very bottom. You should see advanced, developer mode, and finally hardware acceleration. All that you have to do is make sure that hardware acceleration is turned on so that it uses your GPU to make Discord smoother instead of using your CPU. If you have high CPU usage, enabling this should offload some of the work that could be causing the issue to your GPU, allowing you to have more CPU. Of course, if you have a very weak and outdated GPU, this may not be an option for you, but it's something that could help. On top of this, if you head across to the voice and video section, scroll down a little bit, you'll have a couple of options over here, such as H.264 hardware acceleration and open H.264 up here. Having both of these enabled will also use your GPU instead of your CPU for video coding and decoding. You should have both of these enabled. On top of this, if you have a really weak CPU, the more voice processing effects that you have turned on down here, the more CPU Discord could try and pull. If you were to turn all of these effects off, it'll be using less CPU than with all of them on. With all of that aside, what else can we try? Let's go ahead and close out of Discord completely by locating it in our taskbar in the very bottom right, I'll expand it, locate Discord, right click, and then click quit Discord. After Discord's been closed completely, let's run it as admin. I'll hit start, locate Discord if I have it pinned, otherwise I'll search for it on the list or simply type in its name, right click the icon, more, and then finally run as administrator. After saying, yes, I'd like to run it as admin, Discord will then run in a higher state than other programs on your PC, meaning that other programs should not be causing issues with Discord. Usually this is enough of a fix, just running it in admin mode, and your CPU usage should drop down quite a bit. But let's assume that it's not, and for some reason it's abnormally high. There's two things that we can do. Number one is clean reinstall Discord, which is probably the easiest, and number two is downloading Discord public test beta, and using that instead but let's start with a clean reinstall. Simply minimize Discord, hit start, then click settings, head into apps, and inside of here, we'll simply be searching for Discord on the list over here. I'll be scrolling to it as the search is abnormally slow and sometimes gets us to crash. Regardless, I'll click on Discord and then click uninstall. After the program's been uninstalled, hold start, press R, and inside of this new run dialog box, type in percentage app data percentage and hit enter. What we'll be doing here is going through the program's files on our computer and deleting whatever could be left. On this list of folders over here, simply click anywhere and press D on your keyboard to skip straight to D or scroll down to it. You'll see Discord. This is the folder with all of Discord's program files inside of it, cached images, etc, etc. What we're going to do is just delete the entire Discord folder over here or rename it so that the program can't find it when it's being reinstalled. After this, at the very top, we'll click App Data to go up one folder and we'll open the Local folder. Once again, locate Discord on this list and do the same. Either rename it or delete it as there's some other files inside of here. Once we've done that, we've now cleared the installation completely off of our PC and if you're having an issue like it complaining about a corrupt installation or anything like that, that should also be fixed. If you think your Discord was somehow infected with malware that could be causing this issue, that'll also be fixed here as well. We'll be downloading Discord now. Simply head across to discord.com, linked down below as well, and click download for Windows or whatever operating system you have. 
After installing it, the program should work just fine and hopefully your CPU usage will be less. It could have been anywhere from a glitch to malware on your computer causing this to happen, but things should be solved right about now. If you're still experiencing issues and you only use it for voice chat, maybe you can try Discord on your web browser. But usually that isn't an option for people, what else can we try? Well, what we can do is go ahead and search for Discord PTB, the public test beta, I think it is. Then simply click the first link and you'll be downloading an EXE directly from discordapp.com, their official website. As you can see, discordapp.com slash API slash download slash PTB. The public test build, there it is, is another copy of Discord that functions almost exactly the same, but it's got some new features in it. After installing it and signing in, hopefully things should be working a bit better. But besides that, that's basically all of the simple tips that I have for this video. This should not only help you if you're experiencing weird high CPU usage, but also if it's infected with malware or something like that causing issues. Hopefully your problem's been solved, and that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching, my name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!